hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today I, I was able to upload this beautiful tutorial this um ruffles butterfly skirt so if this is something you want to learn how to make i would say you should continue watching this video to the end if it's your first time coming across my channel please do wait to subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video and to my returning subscribers thank you guys for always watching my video so guys you'll be needing around two and a half yard of fabric to be able to make this skirt especially if you are making this skirt to be the full length of your skirt you'll be needing two and a half yard of fabric and you'll also be needing elastic half inch elastic for this particular um skirt you'll be needing your half a uh, half inch elastic so now guys we'll go ahead and start folding our fabric so I'll first, I'll be cutting the front separate from the back. I'll be cutting the front separate from the back. I'll go ahead and fold my fabric into two. I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and fold my fabric into two as you see me doing. So for you to determine the amount of space that you need, you'll be using your hip circumference plus additional 7 to 10 inches extra allowance depending on how wide you want your butterfly to be like the ruffles to be so i went ahead to mark my hip circumference and my additional um extra allowance so the allowance at fair wasn't enough for me so i went ahead and um fold my fabric again and now i have gotten the desired length of the allowance that i want so i'll go ahead and pin this down so once i'm done pinning this down i'll be I'll go ahead to start taking my measurements. So I'll be drawing a straight line here. This particular line I draw out here will be serving as our starting point, And that will be our waistline. That will be our waistline. So from there, I'll be going down to take my hip measurement. So my hip for this particular skirt is 8. But if you notice, I did not minus anything for the waistband. I did not minus anything for the waistband. So, and that additional two inches for the waistband, making it 10. So you can make your own to be 10 or more than that, depending on how long you want your skirt to be. So now go ahead and mark the full length of my skirt. The full length of my skirt is 42. And I'll be adding extra 10, 10 inches to it. 42, and I'll be adding extra 10 inches to it. So I'll be adding extra inches to it to make it long so but if you want yours to be the full length of your skirt just go ahead and take the double of your full length of your skirt if your full length is 30 you just make it times two for you to have 60 if you want yours to be long and very full fuller than my own and longer than the one you see in the beginning of this video so you can make your full length times two so guys now i'll go ahead and take my waist measurement there so i'll take my waist circumference that is my waist divided by four. Then I'll go ahead and insert my hip circumference as well at the hip line. So I'll now insert my hip circumference at the hip line. Then I will go to the hem of my skirt. I will be inserting my hip circumference as well. Just make sure you insert your hip circumference there. Now I will now go ahead to be inserting my hip circumference all around this skirt. So from the hip to the down of this skirt, you'll be putting by your hip circumference measurement. So just go ahead and do it like this. So once I'm done doing that, I'll go ahead and connect all the dots together. Now I'll be connecting my hip line, my waistline to the hip line like this. So once I'm done doing that, I'll go ahead to take my excess for the butterfly ruffles. So I was working with 7 inches for my butterfly. As I said earlier, that is totally um, depend on what you want. And at the hip line, make sure you take the same 7 inches that you take at the hip line. You also take it at the waistline. You'll be marking 7 inches at the waistline for your excess. So you make sure that it's the same thing and you connect it together so you'll be marking seven inches all through and you'll be connecting them together so guys once i was done doing that i'll go ahead to cut out this skirt So 
so this is all for the front part so i'll be using this front to cut the back the only difference with the back is that we are going to be adding a zipper allowance at the center back so i'll go ahead and fold this and i'll bring my fabric again and fold into two with enough space so this is it so i'll go ahead and bring the front piece and i'll be placing it on top of this new piece that i fold making sure that you leave a zipper allowance at the center back as you can see so i'll just go ahead and arrange this and make sure that i'm leaving a zipper allowance so guys at that point now there is our zipper allowance So just arrange it and I'll be cutting exactly what I cut on the front part at the back part. So just go ahead and cut it the same shape that I cut at the front. That is what I'll be cutting at the back. So guys, I'm done cutting this. Now I'll go ahead and open the zipper allowance. You want to do that as well i'll be opening the zipper allowance like so so guys i'm done opening the zipper allowance so at that waistline i'll go ahead and notch that part like this so i'll be showing you why i notch the part so i'll just go ahead and notch it up to 0 0.75 inch Then I'll be removing this aside. So guys, I'll go ahead and remove the pin that I use and hold the, the front part so that we can start our sewing. So guys, this is the front part. So we'll go ahead at that end part, that part that we notch, you go ahead and fold it in like this. You'll be folding it like this, how you see me doing. You go ahead and fold it and stitch it. You won't stitch the waist part, but you do the same thing at the other um, seam allowance. And you also go ahead and fold the sides and also the down of this particular dress. You'll be doing this for both the front and, and the back. You, you will go ahead and fold that excess allowance that will keep at the sides. You will go ahead and stitch it down and also fold the side of this particular dress so guys i'm done doing that as you can see i'm done doing it i've gone ahead to fold it i fold both the front and the back piece so this is what it's looking like right now you can see the back piece i did the same thing except the waist part i hope you guys understand what i'm saying except the waist part so guys, I'll go ahead and close. I'll go ahead and mark that line that I mark in the in the back of this dress. Because when I was cutting this, I cut with the back. So I have to have that same line in the front part because that is the line that will guide me while stitching down. So I'll go ahead and take our measurement again. I'll be folding this fabric into two and I'll be taking our measurement again. Just watch at what I'm doing. So I'm done folding this. As you can see, we already have our waist. So I'll go down to our hip line. So I'll go down to our hip line and mark our hip measurement there. Why I say we are marking this, this line will be the one guiding us while stitching down this skirt. So I'll go ahead and take that hip measurement to the end of the skirt, to the full length of the skirt. So I'll just go ahead and keep marking it. How you see me doing. So I'll go ahead and connect all the lines together. So I'll be doing the same thing at the other side. Remember, I'm doing this just at the front part because this is what I will be guiding us in stitching this down. So I'm just marking the hip circumference all around this, this skirt. The same thing I did in the other side. That is what I'm doing at this part. So 
So this is it. That is the line we'll be stitching from. I'll just go ahead and remove the pins again and show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it's looking like. Have you seen? This is the line that will guide us. So guys, I'll now go ahead and bring our back piece. I want to close the zipper allowance at the back so that it will help me while joining this piece together. So I'll just go ahead and close the zipper allowance, that part you see me showing you. So I'll be taking it to my same machine and I'll be closing it and you see what it looks like. So guys, I'm done closing the zipper allowance for now. So I'll go ahead and bring our front piece of this skirt. So I'll be showing you guys how I'll go ahead the sewing. So as you can see, that part that I notched, I'll just go ahead and take in half inches. And I added a half inch when I was cutting this particular skirt. At that waist part, I added half inches for this particular reason to stitch it down just at that point so guys i'm done stitching it down i'll bring it out so that you can see what i mean by that i hope you guys understand what i'm saying so as you can see that is so that is where we'll be attaching our waistband to you'll see how it is and the other part is now looking like this as you can see so now, guys, we are going to be using that line that we created earlier to stitch this down. So we'll just go ahead and stitch on that line at both sides. So that is why we mark that, so that it will guide us while stitching down. So I'll be forming two stitch there. That will be enough to pass our elastic band. So guys, I'm done forming the stitch. You guys can't really see the rope because it was a matching thread that I used. But I'm trying as much as possible so you can see what I mean. So if you can see it, I formed two lines there. That is two lines that can pass, our elastic um, band can pass. And while forming your, your line, do not form exactly half inches. I would advise you take in around 0.75 inches so that your elastic band will have enough room to pass. If it's too tiny, you will find it difficult passing your elastic band. So I'll go ahead and open that zipper allowance like so, so that I can join my waistband to it. So I'm using a waistband of 1.5 um, inches um, on fold. So, and the length is the full length of my waist plus extra allowance for the zipper. So I was done stitching it from the back. So now I'll be turning it over so I will stop stitch. I want to make this waistband very neat, as neat as possible. So this is how I went about attaching the waistband to the skirt. So I'll go ahead and fold it in like this and be top stitching on it, as you can see. So guys, I'm done attaching my waistband to it right now. I'm done attaching the waistband to it. So I'll go ahead and put our zip. So once I put our zip, I'll now, we'll now go into adding our elastic to the skirt. So guys, I'm done putting the zip for this particular skirt. So this is the major part. We are now done. So it's now for us to form our butterfly ruffles, as you can see. So I'll go ahead and bring in my elastic. And I'll be using my safety pin to pass that into the, the, the double stitch that I form at the at the end of this dress. So I'll be using my safety pin to pass that through that stitch that I make earlier. So just go ahead and pass it like this. So guys, this is what we'll be doing to reach the end of this of the skirt. So we'll be passing this through. It's not that difficult, just like you're passing your elastic in your normal dress. And while passing it, you keep dragging it. Just keep dragging it through. So guys, once you reach the end of this skirt, you just go ahead and bring it out at that point. As you see me doing, bring it out. You can now remove your safety pin and use your needle. Use a pin to hold it down so that it won't go out. So I'll just go ahead and adjust the damp parts. You drag it as long as you want. As long as you want. And you'll be using your tape to check the length of this particular ruffles that you create so 
If the length is up to the desired length that you want, you stop dragging it. But if you still want it more short, just what that will happen is that the, the butterfly will be too full, but you can still drag it as much as you want to the desired length that you want. So once I got my desired length, I'll go ahead and pin that down and I'll be cutting out the excess elastic and I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So I'll be bringing out my safety pin now and I'll be using a knife pin to hold it down before I will take it to my sewing machine to hold it down. So guys, the same thing I did at this part, this side, I'll be doing it in the other side. So I'll be doing it also at the other side of this dress. I'll go ahead and do it there as well. I'll just be cutting the excess elastic. So I will just try as much as I can to adjust this to look nice. So just make sure you arrange this to your desired length and let it look nice as well. So I'll just go ahead and take the measurements. So I think I'm now okay with the length. So I'll go ahead and cut the excess elastic. So guys, I'll also be doing the same thing at the other side. And I'll be measuring the two sides to see the length. So this is what it is. I've measured it. And I'll still go ahead and drag the elastic a little. So that it will give me the desired length that I want. So I think I'm now okay with that. So I'll go ahead and cut it out as well. So I'll be taking this to the sewing machine to secure those edges that I pin with my um with my pin, with my office pin. So guys, this is what it's looking like. I'm done doing that. So now, guys, I want to also add elastic at the back part. If you notice at the the one I show you guys, I was putting on the back also had an elastic. So at this back part. You also want to add an elastic there. So I'll be adding my elastic at the zipper allowance. That allowance I gave at that zipper part. So that is where I'll be adding my elastic. But this time around, I did not form any case in there. You can see the zipper allowance. So I'll just go ahead and put my elastic there. Why sewing it? I'll be dragging the elastic. Why sewing? Be dragging the elastic. That is what I will form that effect that you see at the back of this skirt. Why sewing? You just keep dragging your elastic and be sewing. So guys, see how it is looking right now. See the back. See how it's looking. I did not put at the zipper part. I just end under the zip. That is below the zip. That is why I end with my elastic. As you can see, this is what it's looking like right now. So guys, if you're able to watch this video to this point, thank you very much. And I hope you understand what we did here. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you.